asking something about OPIC, but Chinese speaking only. I'm Irene Lau. I'm from Malaysia. I have some discomforts. I felt that this is really something um, is different. That's when I went in to do my check and they found mass in my tummy. It's total shock at the initial stage, you know. You never expect that word to come out. So after that, it's all about understanding and the fight they have. How much everything? Yes, okay, so, so good. <laughs> so good. Back to normal? Yes, back okay. to... No, just have a slight, uh, but it's under control. Marine cancer is um, a, a cancer that's not very common in Singapore, but nonetheless, it remains one of the most lethal gynecological malignancies. One of the challenges we have is that even though these patients initially respond very well to chemotherapy and also to surgery, about 70 to 80% of these patients eventually recur with their disease. And when the cancer comes back, it becomes incurable. Invariably, patients uh, carry on with chemotherapy until they get to a point whereby the cancer is no longer responsive and eventually they die of their disease. I was still on uh, with uh, Dr. David. I still have a uh, uh, consultation with him all the while since 2019. So he already uh, gave me the roadmap. Okay, you're going to recover, you're going to get recurrent, you're going to recover, you're going to fight, you're going to get recurrent again. But we will get the right thing, the right drug. Then I'm due for a scan again in January. That's when I have a slight recurrent again near my liver. It's very tiny, but it was discovered. Looking at the scan, he said, okay, uh, he puts me in this ETC program. I have a very good feeling about this drug. I, I told Dr. David, I said, I think this is the one. ETC-159 is a small molecule drug that patients take in the form of oral capsules that inhibits one specific enzyme that's called porcupine. This enzyme mediates a modification of proteins called WINT. At first, we just wanted to target WINT because we thought too much WINT bad. Um, and I think that's still true. But the idea that, that WINTs were involved in repressing the immune system and making tumors immunologically invisible, immunologically cold, is an idea that came about by work in many labs Wind signaling pathways are typically upregulated in many cancers and specifically so in platinum resistant ovarian cancer. The concept that inhibiting wind would allow checkpoint inhibitors to start to work again, that's a new idea. And so just the fact that we have such an exceptional responder because of this combination is really thrilling. For me, all the failed uh, treatments uh, have moved me to these drugs. So even with so many side effects that I faced, loss of hair, my new drops, um, loss of appetite, so that's when you know, I felt that um, this is uh, the worst of my journey. But I believe that it's going to be a new Thing that's going to help me recover. She's walking living proof that after doing different drugs, ETC, it, it worked. You can see from her complexion the energy, the, the, the movement, the, the ability to think, you know, and everything. It's like any other, you know, uh, fast paced woman. On average, patients with platinum resistant ovarian cancer and with many previous lines of treatment can expect to only live another three to four months before the disease progresses and their tumor starts growing. Hearing that Irene has lived for more than a year with a tumor that has shrunk by 
more than 60% since the start of the treatment is really, really rewarding to us. To see her do well, to see her respond, to see her uh, demeanor improve every time uh, she gets a positive result from a CT scan is highly, highly rewarding as a physician. It is also a sense that there could be a new approach to treating this cancer that is really exciting uh, as a scientist and a, as an investigator. So what makes this story especially interesting and, and inspirational for me is that it takes decades of basic science work on wind and what they do in flies and fish and frogs and humans and then it takes this immunology work in other fields and it all comes together to a one small molecule and apply it and you start to save lives. And that to me is the really exciting part about this. And any Thanks. final, final, I guess, messages for the scientists that you've got today? Oh yes, yeah. I want to thank them for developing this and the work, the research they put in. So I'm the living proof. They bring hope, yeah. they bring hope for People who are down, who cannot find a solution, and now there's hope.